Hi, it's Mike at Cleveland Aircraft Tool, and I'm going to talk to you today about our rivet removal tool. We've had quite a few questions about this lately, so I'm going to go through it and explain to you how it works and where to use it. Um, first of all, the rivet removal tool comes in um, this kit here, which has a parts for 332nd, 8th inch, 532nd, and 316th rivets, and then the corresponding drill bits 40, 30, 21, and 20. Uh, 10. So the, the basic idea behind the rivet removal tool is it's similar to a microstop countersink except uh, this is not adjustable in depth on this end, it's adjustable in depth with the, the guide piece that you put on. So it's, a, it's the same depth um, increment each time back here. So I'll show you how to set this up. Um, first of all you want to choose the uh, correct piece for the rivet that you're going to drill out. Now the, the, this rivet removal tool is only for um, domed rivets, button head rivets, AN470 rivets, depending on what terminology you want to use, um, not for the flush rivets. Flush rivets are easy to drill out without a rivet removal tool and um, I can show you how to do that in another video. So, so here we're going to pick the, the correct nose piece, guide piece. Um, the 332nd is too small, it's not a 332nd rivet, the 532nd is too big, it slides back and forth on there, it's not a, a 532 rivet, but it is an 8th inch rivet, so that centers nicely over the 8th inch rivet here. So that's what we're going to use, and let's get the rest of this stuff out of the way, and I'll show you how to set this up. So first of all, let's take a, the tool apart. And you see that there's this um, piece here that, that retain, the two, two clips that retain the threaded piece on the end, so that's your travel. And then a spring that returns it. Uh, return spring there, and then um, we put the bit in the end, like that, and then assemble the tool back together. So now you see we have the bit protruding out of the end of the tool, and again it just gives you that constant increment. So the next thing we do is put this locking ring onto the guide piece that we're going to use and screw the guide piece into the end. Now this is where you can obviously adjust in and out um, for your depth that you want it to drill. And the way you want to do this is um, to adjust it so that, see if I can get the right angle on it. Well you want to adjust it so that the, the length that the drill bit protrudes is the depth of the rivet head. Um, I like to drill the heads off and then go back and drill them with a regular, in this case number 30 drill bit, so that um, so that I'm not drilling it completely out with this tool. This tool is just to get that hole started. So I'm going to adjust the depth of there so that when I'm, I'm Trying to make it so that you can see the drill bit coming out, but that's not happening very well. Let's try it at this angle. So I'm going to adjust it here so that it's about the height of the rivet head out from the end of the tool. And then whoop, holding it still, I'm going to roll that locking ring down, lock it tight so it can't move. Now I'm just going to put this in a drill. I'm going to use an air drill, but you could use an electric drill for this as well. Um, you'll want to turn it fairly slow. It's not a high speed operation like drilling a hole through a thin piece of material would be. So just center the guide piece over the rivet and then hold it tightly this piece tightly in toward the material 
and then <laughs> the drill the depth of the rivet head, which I got that about right because the head just fell off. And you can see that it's drilled just the just the head off and it's left the rivet tail in the hole there. So now I come back with a, a number 30 bit to finish that. And I like to use a punch um, that is the same size. So we have uh, eighth inch and 332 uh, drive pin punches that we sell. And I don't punch it out like you would typically use a punch. Um, I would drill it out first and then reach in and wiggle this back and forth to, to break the rest of that um, rivet tail off. And, and then it'll just fall off and you'll be left with your original hole. So that's the rivet removal tool. Please like and subscribe to our channel and let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.